Hey guys, so uh, in this episode, so we are in the episode 11, we're gonna set up uh, the Facebook flow authentication in the server, so not in the mobile, the mobile is gonna be in the next episode, but uh, <clears throat> today what I want to do is to just set up the server to receive the Facebook token to make authentication. So the plan for today is to change the user model because last time we just make it really quick and after that, I want to show you the authentication, authentication flow. Um, we're going to set up the Facebook authentication and we're going to set up some helper and I'm going to show you a response we, we're going to receive. So we're going to jump in the model right there in the user schema and we're going to change some stuff here because now it's just the email, but we want much more. So what I want to have to from my user going to be his full name. So that's going to be a string. Here the email gonna be a string a type string, but I want it to be unique to too. I don't want uh, a user to have more than one uh, uh, account. After that, here what I'm gonna add it's I'm gonna add a avatar. So avatar gonna be uh, example with Facebook. That's gonna be it's a, pro, a profile picture image. So that here, what I want is provider data. So you remember I told you we're gonna have Google authentication and Facebook. So here is just a way for us to know which which one you use for authentication. So here I'm gonna say UID. So that's gonna be the UID from uh, unique ID from the, the provider uh, side. After that you're gonna have provider here, and that's gonna be a string. So here. That's gonna be a string for Facebook and Google. We're gonna make a enum here in the future, but not right now. And here, finally, we're gonna add type stem to be true. Because I want to know when my user have been created, and I want to know um, um, how, he, how, how he get update. So here inside my util, I'm gonna create now a Facebook out GS. So that's going to be why we're going to have uh, the Facebook uh, authentication. And uh, <coughs> for using this, we're going to need uh, some uh, kind of HTTP request library. So we're going to use the same we use in uh, the front end. So we're going to use Axios. So when you're going to be installed, we're going to import Axios from Axios. After that, here, yeah, we're gonna create an async function called Facebook out. Who gonna take a token? And here we're gonna have a try and a catch. And here we're just gonna return the error for now. So where this token is coming? So this is the little diagram I built. And uh, so what happened is finally when we are gonna authenticate with the mobile, we're gonna ask for a token with some scope to Facebook. So uh, with Exponent, we're gonna say how oh, easy is that? So we're gonna toggle the uh, web page for uh, Facebook authentication. And if the user enter everything, like uh, his password and email, we're gonna have a response inside the, the, the mobile with a token. After that, this token, we're gonna send it to the server, so uh, your server. After that, we're gonna send this token back to Facebook to add a credential of the user. And so, example, we're gonna ask for avatar, its uh, profile image, its email, and its uh, everything we want. After that, Facebook gonna return uh, a user object and finally, we're gonna save to the database. Yes, I know some people here do the um, Facebook credential asking right in the mobile, but I think for security purpose, it's better to just send the token back to the server and the uh, server gonna ask for the user credential. If you want to see all that looks like, it's when we ask it with the token. So here example, that's gonna be what we're gonna ask. So the graph with the email name and password, and here we have the token. And example here, I receive my email, my name, 
here inside my picture i'm gonna have the url of my avatar and here is the uid of uh, the facebook authentication so this kind of request here gonna be the same for us so mobile ask for the token when you receive the token you send it to the server server ask uh, facebook for the credential receive the user credential and save to the db so here what we're gonna do we're gonna add a current data so we're gonna destructuring the response await axios that get uh, equal sorry axios that get and here that's gonna be why we're gonna uh, put the URL for the HTTP request so HTTPS graph that Facebook that com that uh, dash me field so what we ask I want to have is email name and picture and after that I want I'm gonna add here access uh, token and here finally because we use back tip oh, we need an equal because we use back tip I'm gonna put the variable token and I'm gonna add the curly bracket and <coughs> at the end here I'm gonna return the data so graph Facebook me fill email name picture and access token so finally is the same of what I've asked right there but now the thing is, uh, now that's going to be hard for you because you don't really know maybe uh, what uh, Google is going to show. But the data is not modeled as the same way. Like here we have the email, name, and picture like that, and ID. But the thing is, with Google, we receive the name as a given name and the last name. So that's why we're going to change. So what I've decided to do is to create a util... Um, file here with user info get user info the GS and this one that's gonna be where I'm gonna module my uh, user before we push to the database so get user info who receive two things data and a provider just forget the provider name here what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create two variable let full name and let avatar why because this is the two place where it's not the same like the object don't came as the same here what i'm gonna do it's if provider equal google yes i know we don't have it but trust me on that that's gonna be this way and here that's gonna be facebook so if the provider it's google the full name is gonna be equal to back tip uh, dollar sign curly bracket data that given name space data that family name so if you see my data gonna be my user object from the response and the provider just forgive us an ID here for the if after that here the avatar in Google gonna be equal to data that picture for Facebook full name going to be equal to data that name so this is this response right there but now picture is inside picture data that url that's why i create a variable for this one so data that picture that data that url and now finally here what we're going to do is we're going to return an object with a full name with his avatar esx don't need to have the key value Email gonna be equal to data that email both have the same way. Provider data gonna be equal to UID gonna be equal to data that ID and finally provider gonna be equal to the provider we give here. So now if we came back to the Facebook authentication, here what the only thing we're gonna need to do is return. I'm gonna import it first. I'm gonna import it first. Get user info from get user info right there. And here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna return get user info data. So the data we receive. And now here, I'm gonna just say Facebook. Now I'm sure some people ask, yeah, but why 
you just do with Facebook and do a if else we are sure that gonna came to the ads so you don't need to put Facebook it's just because maybe in the future we're gonna have Twitter or LinkedIn authentication so in this way I, keep, I just keep my code a bit cleaner for me so now we set up the Facebook authentication so we receive uh, the stuff and now what we can do is we can already uh, start to uh, in the controller to model the way we're gonna make it. So here, I'm gonna import from my util folder in Facebook, Oop. Facebook out. I'm gonna import Facebook out. And now here, what I'm gonna do, it's gonna be really easy. I'm gonna have the provider coming from the back at the front end in the token. After that here, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna make a, a big try catch. So I'm gonna remove it just to restart with you. So I'm gonna have a try catch. Here, if we have an error, we're gonna just return a status conduit with a uh, JSON object with error to be true and an error message to equal uh, e that message. So the message. So E it's an object and you have a message key on it. So now here, uh, what we can do, it's uh, now here I'm gonna create a let user info, so a variable user info. And inside my try catch now what I'm gonna do, it's if provider equal If provider equal uh, Google and else, and, uh, so that's going to be Facebook here. That's going to be uh, user info equal await, and uh, we're going to do stuff here. So do Google out here, and here what we're going to do? That's going to be user info equal await, await Facebook out. And now I'm gonna pass it the token. Because remember the Facebook, I'll oh, just take the token. <clears throat> and now so we get the user info. After that, here uh, that's gonna be the place where we're gonna create the user. So here what I can do is I'm gonna do cons user equal away that user that and now this is the place where we need to have some logic. Now, when I'm creating a user, like, uh, yes, if the email is unique, I'm gonna just receive an error. But the thing is, if a user logging to my app with Facebook the first time and he re-log in uh, two months and don't remember if he log with Facebook and he gonna go with Google, I want to give him the same cre uh, credential and not uh, new stuff. So here, what I'm gonna I, um, think about making, it's here I'm gonna create a static function called find or create, so find or create a user. Gonna be an async function. Well, here you're gonna receive argument. And here, I'm gonna do cont user equal await this, so this mean the user schema, find one with the email, and that's gonna be coming from org.email, like that. So finally, I'm gonna just find if the user at a uh, uh, the email, uh, like the email coming from the the, the, the the Facebook stuff, and now because here I'm gonna have it from uh, my user info, I'm gonna have access to the full name. So here, for security, you can say args that full name. Just for saying, you need to have the same email and the same full name just to get uh, be sure this is the the, the user. And uh, because I do this here, I can do a try catch. And here I'm gonna return the E if I have an error. So here, what I can say is if I have no user, so if the user don't exist, I'm gonna uh, here return, I'm um, gonna make a, a await this that create args with the argument we received.
else I'm gonna uh, return the user because we're gonna use return I'm gonna do return user here and now here I am gonna just return like that <coughs> so we try to find the user if we have an error we're gonna return it else if we have no user I'm gonna create it else I'm gonna return my user that's it nothing more to do so now inside my controller now what I can do it's here const user gonna be equal to user that find or create so the function we just create and now I'm gonna put the user info and after that here we're gonna return a res that status 200 with a JSON object with a success of true and the user for now what I want to send is the ID of the user nothing more so ID of the user and like in the last episode I'm gonna return a token with a GWT create token user why I don't send uh, something else because first thing security why I send the uh, ID because I gonna need the ID just to make some kind of uh, if it's his pose I want him to see a button to delete else because I don't want to uh, decode my GWT in the front end so in this way at least I'm gonna keep the ID but I'm gonna do all of my transaction with the token and so now that's going to be done for uh, this episode. So we just set up the login authentication with Facebook just to get ready. In the next episode, we're going to finish Google. That's going to be really quick. And after that, we're going to start to play with the mobile and make the request with Facebook and Google. And I'm going to show you how to create an application with Facebook and Google too. And after that, that's going to be much more easy to start to making some stuff on the Meetup app. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode and just let me know in the comment if I make some kind of mistake and have a good weekend, bye.